would never do anything that out there. It's not her, like her. You know what? Do me a favor. Don't share this bent theory of yours with my mom. Hey, hi. Just what I'm looking for. Hey, how's it going in there? Uh, okay. Listen, I have some questions about what happened here last night. Do either one of you know how or why this fire got started? Eyes for the Honorable Judge Marcus Carruthers. <clears throat> to be clear, the purpose of this hearing is to establish the defendant's mental capacity at the time a crime occurred and to decide if she's competent to enter a plea at this time. Mr. Hughes, Mr. Winthrop, I assume you both have copies of the psychiatric report? Yes, Your Honor. I do, Your Honor. Fine. Mr. Hughes, we'll begin with the state's argument. Facts in this case are not in dispute, Your Honor. The defendant kidnapped Dusty Donovan, held him prisoner, threatened his life. The question is, was she sane? Did she know that she was doing wrong when she committed these heinous acts? Well, the prosecution believes that she was fully aware. We intend to move forward this case and prosecute her according to law. Your Honor, several court-appointed psychiatrists interviewed the defendant for hours. It's noted that she feels remorse for what she did, regret. After the fact, regret does not cancel out reality. She knew what she was doing. She knew it was wrong, and she came up with an excuse about being jilted at the altar, which brought on some kind of psychotic break. Imagine living in a world where someone suffers a rejection and turns criminal. I mean, a broken heart, a wounded ego. Are these excuses to terrorize and intimidate? They are not the definition of insanity. It does not mitigate her criminal behavior. Mr. Winthrop, you've had a chance to review the same evaluation? Oh, I have, Your Honor. You care to comment? I've read better fortune cookies. Hey, Mom, is there any reason we can't open the club tonight? I don't see why not. There's no more evidence we can put together here, unless, of course, you remember anything. Leah, why don't you go inside and pick out the songs and the prayers you like? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, what's going on? I need to talk to you. Yeah, shoot. Not as a cop, as my mom. Ms. Stewart, please stand. Tell us how you got here. Your Honor, I'm the first to admit I did horrible things. Crazy things. Uh, Your Honor, the defendant is. You had your turn, Mr. Hughes. Continue. The insanity began when my fiance broke things off moments before we were supposed to be married. Look, it's not an excuse. I, I'm. I'm just telling you that's. That's when I just. I snapped. And your present state of mind. Well, I've been, I've been working with a therapist for several weeks now. When I look back to what I did, it's like looking at another person. I mean, I don't know who that person was. I, it's certainly someone I, I, I didn't want to be. And when the chance arose to donate my unborn child's stem cell to save another child's life, I swear to you, it wasn't about chalking up points to save myself. It, it was a chance to finally do the right thing. Miss Stewart, have you made arrangements in the event you're unable to care for the child you're carrying? Your Honor, if I may. And you are? Paul Ryan, I'm the baby's father, and I'm completely committed to getting full custody of this child and raising it in a loving and stable home. Your Honor, Your Honor, whatever you decide, I, I know I have to live with. All I know is that it, Giving up this child, knowing that the first time I hold him or her might be the last, I swear to you, it's the worst punishment I can imagine. 
Well, give me a moment to review this report, and then I'll render my decision. Casey, I will always take off my cop hat to put on my mom hat for you. So this stays between us? That depends on what this is. I mean, if a law has been broken, I do have to go back to being a cop. But have you done something? No, 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 no. It's, it's Maddie. She's really freaking me out. Well, she's freaking you out how? Well, you know how you told me to give her time and space? I'm trying to do that, but she's doing some really strange stuff. Okay, well, what's worrying you? Well, Leah thinks that Maddie got jealous when she saw us in the club together and burned her sweater. Why didn't Leah tell me this? Because I asked her not to, because... I don't want Maddie to get in trouble. I mean, even though I'm really bummed she broke up with me for reasons that make zero sense, I didn't want to see my mom dragging her off to jail. You have my word that I will not clap Maddie into irons and drag her down to the station. Thank you for talking to me. You're learning. I'm working on it, Mom, but this whole thing with Maddie feels really bad. I know. And it feels worse that you can't help. I mean, I could try talking to her again. Yeah. Whatever's going on with Maddie, honey, it's serious. And and there's just no way that you can, or, or even should, have to handle it. Thank you for talking to me. I'll, I'll deal with it. So what do I do now? Now? Now is the summer before college. This is never going to happen again. You, this, this is golden. You make the best of it. I'll handle Maddie. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. But, Mom, what if Maddie did start the fire? I'll handle it. Not you. Maddie. Ah, uh, well, it's not my turn to watch her. Oh, you know where she is? She just left. Why, why, uh, what's up? Oh, I wanted to ask her about the fire at Crash last night. It was arson. Why would my sister have anything to do with that? I have a witness that places her at the scene. Thought she might know something. Mar what, what is this, Margo? You, you're not suggesting no, that she had no, anything to do? No, no, it's an investigation. It's an investigation into Maddie. Is she one of your usual suspects? And, um, let me just ask you something. Maybe the fact that she broke up with your son, could that be fueling some suspicions here? No. What went on between them is their business and no one else's. I'm just hoping that Maddie isn't turning this into something else. What do you mean? You ever noticed that she's kind of different lately? Not really herself, not the happy young girl she used to be? Well, she seems fine. She's never better. You know what, Henry? I know that you love your little sister and you want to protect her. But if you want to help her, why don't you talk to her and see if she can get out what's going on inside of her? Because if she keeps acting out like this, it's only going to make the problem worse. <laughs> 